Ooh. Yeah. Throw that ass back. Beach. Ooh. Make that ass clap. Make the clap. Ooh. Queen of Atlanta, huh? Ass like a dump truck, waist snatch. Bad yellow bitch in a stay scrap. Ball when you blow it on a rich bitch. Make a nigga cash out ASAP. Ass like a dump truck, waist snatch. Bad yellow bitch in a stay scrap. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl King Yada here and stay tuned so you can see how I got this look and make sure you follow me on Instagram at pretty underscore yada and makeup underscore yada and don't forget to subscribe like and share yay yes it's called spicy mommy don't I look pretty spicy don't I look pretty spicy and I got the bottom lashes and I'm using the color pop she's a rainbow palette so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this tutorial look at those colors yes vibrant baby vibrant pigmented and we're going to start off with our Anastasia dip brow pomade in the color dark brown and we're going to go ahead and do those brows so I start by combing them out first and then I'm going to use a flat angle brush I'm going to get some of that product out and then I'm going to start to kind of trace the outline of my brows and then you know I'm going to fill them in and then we're going to conceal them as well so you already know the brow part. Yes, y'all. As y'all can see, I got bottom lashes on too. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so crazy. When I get to that segment, I'll talk more about what had happened. Because what had happened was I was not supposed to have bottom lashes. But <laughs> what had happened was, you know. But yeah, so we're just going to head in. As you can see, I'm filling in the brows with the pomade. And now I'm just checking them out, and I like. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my P. Louise base, shade number 5. I love P. Louise stuff. It is awesome. And I'm just, every time I use it, I'm just getting better and better at learning how to use and maneuver the product. So, yes, as you can see, I'm outlining my brows with a concealer. Um, again, my brow routine changes quite frequently, so I definitely... Don't do it like this anymore because I have found a better brush. So I'm always finding better brushes to do uh, better brushes <laughs> to do my brows with. So I no longer actually use this brush. I use the P. Louise brush. So yeah, you'll see that in upcoming videos. Me swapping out my brushes, but I'm still trying to learn how to use different brushes for my brows and what's the best and what I like using because everything you know that someone else might recommend for me. I may not actually like using it or I don't know what the hell I'm doing and as you can see I brought that base down over my eyelid and I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just blending that product out so that it's not so much all right and I'm going in with some Fenty primer i'm going to be putting that on my face all over and it is the fenty true matte pro filter mattifying primer i'm still trying to see if i like fenty for their foundation and primer and stuff i still don't know yet i'm still on the fence and we're going back into the ColourPop palette because it's time to get started. As you can see, I, the base that I, I made it just very light um, on my eye. So, look at that. And then we're going to be using these colors. I used that yellow, red. I also used the orange and I used those glitter orange and yellow colors. So, we're going to start by blending with the yellow. And we're going to blend that right in our crease area. And you're just going to build that color up until it's nice and like sunshine yellow. Like we like rise and shine color down type of, you know, sunshine. You want it to kind of bling bling every time I come around the city bling bling type of yellow. So that's what I'm going for with this yellow. And you really have to just pack it on and then blend it out. Um, It does get very pigmented. You just have to add more um, as you go. So, I do love that, but I do love me a good yellow when I ain't got to do all that. But, you know, hey, it's yellow. See, it's building up. Look at that. 
you see, you see. Every time I add a new coat, it's like, yes, baby. It's like, yes, hunty. I'm going to get right for you. I'm going to get right. But I actually do love this palette, y'all. I used it a lot. Maybe like five or six times so far, which is a lot. Okay, that's a lot. When I have so many palettes that I can use, I need to start using my other palettes. But sometimes I just know that the colors in these palettes are really good. But I mean, all my palettes are really pretty good. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all don't listen to me. Yes, y'all. So now we're going in with that orange color. And I'm going to blend that right on top of that yellow. And see, the orange came on pretty nice. As soon as I put it on and then we're just going to do the same thing. Just keep blending it, packing it on until it's nice and vibrant. And we're going back in with that yellow color so that we, we can blend. And it's kind of, you're going to build. And then when you add a color, you want to actually go back over the previous color so that it, the blend is seamless. You want it to be a seamless transition. I don't want to know where one color stops and one begins. So, you know, we just have to keep playing. Got to keep going. See, I went back with the orange, and now I'm going over the orange again with the yellow. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, you got to do it like that, girl. Back in with the yellow. See, I just put orange on just so I can blend the orange. Now I'm going back with the yellow. All right, now I'm going in with Beige Shade Zero with the P. Louise, and now it's time to cut the crease. Cut that crease, baby. So with cutting my crease, I'm still taking it nice and slow, okay? So... You just want to start somewhere and then just, I always just do the flicking motion. That's what I've been doing right now is flicking. Okay, so I try to keep it small, the area small. I try to keep it really neat and precise and I do flicking. And then once I have the line that I want, I fill it in. Okay, then I fill in the, um, the area that I'm going to be shading in with the base. But as you can see, it doesn't take me as long as it used to cut my creases okay and that was pretty good perfect cut crease okay it, it, it's perfect cut crease baby perfect cut crease and I'm trying to make sure that the eyes match because that's sometimes I have a little problem with the geometry and the symmetrical and the flex you know what I'm saying all that stuff so I have to make sure that they're the same size because it still looks that I have and they might be like a little bit off you know what I'm saying don't judge me Okay, my arithmetic, and as you can see, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking the fat of my eye, and I'm making sure the fat part matches the other fat part using the Q-tip. And it looked like it matched, so, you know, I think we had a successful symmetrical cut crease this time. It was symmetrical. I don't know what that was, y'all. This hookah, I be hookah ring, you know what I'm saying? Hookah hook, hook ring, hookah ring. I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't, I don't know where this smoke coming from. And then we're just going to keep filling in, you know what I'm saying, until it's nice and vibrant. And we're going to go back in to the ColourPop palette. And we're going to start with the yellow. And we're going to put the yellow on the outside of the crease. And we're going to also put that yellow and blend it on the inner corners of your eye, okay? Don't worry, we're not going to leave that big white space there or big white yellowish base space because some of that yellow did peek through from that base. But it's fine. It is okay because we're gonna cover it up. That's what PBS bases do, baby. Even if a color bleeds through that that base that you use, it still going. It still can be covered up. Okay, it still can be covered up. So I'm going in with this vibrant red, fire cracker red. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend that right in the center. Now you want to blend it all the way, almost up. You still want to leave that. As you can see on the other eye, I still have some line of like white right there so you're just going to blend it all the way up until you almost have the full thing blended but you don't want to blend it all the way because you still want to leave a small line of white to just make you know so they know it's a cut crease it's a cut crease with some extras on it okay so you see me still blending still blend that red is so beautiful y'all it's so 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 pretty And we're still blending that red out. And don't look at that lash over there. Okay, I know it's about to fall off. But um, I used some thicker lashes. And I won't use them again because the band was too thick. Okay, so yeah. We're still blending out that red. And then now we're going to go ahead and back into that yellow color. And then we're just going to make sure these colors are popping and they're blending together. So I'm going to, again, take that yellow to the outer corner. And also we're going to take it to the inner corner. And we're going to blend it 
into that red so everything again is a seamless transition i don't want to know where one color stops one begins i don't know maybe there's maybe they're the same color you just made it look like that girl i don't know i don't need to know your secret okay i don't need to be able to see the secret okay but just blend that out oh look at that oh my gosh oh my gosh look at that look at that yes okay you gotta check i just you know i have to check check and check as you can see and then, hey you saw that smile i was happy and then i'm gonna take my lash glue my lash envy and i'm gonna be applying that right above my waterline okay and we're gonna be using that so that we can apply some glitter and that we're gonna have a glitter liner okay so as you can see, I'm going all the way out to where my shadow really is. I'm trying to get this wing liner thing down, y'all. So I just kind of, I'm still taking it baby steps right now. So I'm just taking that glitter and we're going to just be applying it. And the first color I used was the yellow color. And then once we get about halfway, then we're going to go into the orange glitter color. And then we're going to use that color to finish it off. And while I'm applying this glitter, let me tell you about this show called Love the Lines on Netflix. If you have not watched it, you need to watch it. It is kind of crazy. It get kind of boring, like um, episode four or five, um, because they be talking about the same thing. And nobody got time for that. Get me to the drama. But y'all need to watch that show. It's very crazy. It's basically about these group of people who have never seen each other talking through pods and they're falling in love and they're choosing who they're going to get married with. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. Y'all, it is crazy, y'all. Especially number five. Like, that's when it, when the end of that episode was real good, y'all. Because it was, it already told me. I had already said everything that happened. But, at ladies, you gotta listen. These men be telling you stuff and y'all don't be listening. Like, I mean, I ain't saying I don't either, but I, you know what I'm saying? We got to be listening. People be telling you stuff without telling you. Listen, girl. All right, and we're done. And as you can see, I decided a side relief that was kind of stressful, you know. It really wasn't stressful, but it's stressful. Because with glitter, you got to make sure you stay right where it's supposed to be. And let's get into these bottom lashes, okay? As you can see, I have this glitter. It's by I Envy by Kiss, okay? It's clear. You have to use a piece of aluminum foil. And you place the aluminum foil down, and then you place the glue on top of it. And then you take the lashes, and then you dip them into the glue that's on the aluminum foil okay now i didn't know this glue was gonna be like extremely hard to get off like you can't just put the glue to on and then think you're gonna remove your lashes it's not gonna happen okay once these lashes are on they're on they're not coming off okay you have to use some glue remover so that's how i ended up with bottom lashes because i was practicing with the bottom lashes and then i was gonna do i was doing the look and practicing with the bottom lashes i was like oh, i'm just gonna take the lashes off once i get done once I finna start the look, and no ma'am, I tried to take it off and I would have ripped all my bottom, real bottom lashes out. So I had to leave them. And I was just like, you know what? It's fine. It look cute. I needed to practice doing bottom lashes anyway. I needed to do a look with some bottom lashes anyway. So, as you can see, I am dipping the end of the lash into the glue and then I'm applying it to my bottom lash, okay? You cannot use this glue for top lashes. I try. It's not going to where it burns, okay? So, you definitely don't want to put on your top. It, it doesn't even stick to your top lashes, which is crazy. So, this is specifically for individual. Um, if you're doing individual, you cannot, I'm sorry, you can use it for your top lashes, but it has to be individual um, clusters. You cannot use it for a strip. It's not going to work. I already tried it. It dries up too quick. So it's really only made for like individual lashes. So don't try it. I already did. It didn't work out. If you find a way to use it and you know, let me know. Let me know what you did that I ain't do. But again, they make glue for top lashes. So just use the top lash glue. This is for individual, long lasting, individual adhesive. Okay, so yes, I am adding those bottom lashes.
proud of shit. You think we only want you for your money, and yeah, it's funny, and it's why I came back top down. Heard you got about four bitches. Tried to sell your head less, but don't do it. If you say I'm on your mind, mind. I just want you to. Heard you got about four bitches. Tried to sell your head less, but don't do it. If you say I'm on your mind, you won't need to spend more time to prove it. Cause I want you to. All right, so now that we have the bottom lashes on, I'm going to be using this Morphe gel liner in the color Jet Black. And I'm going to just be applying that to my waterline to kind of, you know, conceal that these are not my lashes. I should have did the, that. I should have did that to the top two, but I forgot. So, and we're going to also be using this Color Pop gel liner and punch. So, and we're going to be applying that right on top of that black. And we're going to be putting that right into our waterline as well, okay? So you're going to actually put this inside the waterline. The black is going to go a little bit beneath the waterline. So, yeah. I just got to remember to add my liners on when I'm doing my lashes to conceal them. I just, I mean, again, these lashes were pretty thick. The top lashes. So I don't use them anymore because I'm like, what is wrong with these lashes? And I just realized that the band is just made way too thick. You know, it's cool to be all nice and flary, but you know what I'm saying? It don't need to be that thick, but I gotta be able to put these on. They're supposed to look like my real lashes, and it's not doing that for me. So, yeah, once we have that on, we're gonna be using this LA Colors liner as well. Oh, see, that I did do. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you can see, look, this lash is popping off, y'all. That did not help. It did not help. It did not help. But yeah, see, I ain't doing it to the other eye, though. I only did that because. The lash is about to fall off my face. Even though it's not about to fall off my face. It looks like it's about to fall off. So I'm just adding some more glue to it. But again, the band is really thick on these lashes. So. And I'm just making sure the lash is secured better than it was before. And I'm going to be using my Farsali Glass Serum. And I'm gonna be applying that to my skin. I love this stuff. Again, I have to see what foundations it works good with and foundations it does not work good with. But mostly, a lot of the foundations work well with this um, serum. Keeps my skin hydrated, keeps my skin moist. Keep my skin moist, okay? Keep it very moist and hydrated, okay? Because I don't like my face feeling dry, even though I like matte look. I don't like my face to feel like it's about to crack and peel. And I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the color 420. And this is the soft matte long wear foundation. As you can see, I'm shaking it up. That's what they tell you to do, shake it up. Again, I'm still on the fence. Maybe if you guys know how to use Fenty better, because I see people use it and they be looking good. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't going to say I don't look good, but I can look better. You know what I'm saying? I can look better. I could look better, boo. Yes. 
Por más que me tiren cabrones, ustedes saben, no me enojo. Fumo, 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 fumo y fumo. Y si le te contrato, mis ojos son rojos. Me paso quemando la hoja, haciendo lo que se me antoja. Si viene jodiendo y si viene fronteando la guay, te la pongo roja. Mi gente, yo vine y se moja. Es mejor que tú sabes lo coja. A tu tierra mandamos corona de flores y todas son rojas. Si te duele, toma panadol, que así tú te sientes mejor. Pero pato se envidia que tú a mí me tiende, eso no cura el dolor. Si te caíste y te guayaste, un de mentol. Rojo significa dolor. Y a mí me encanta ese color. Matío, guchito rojo. Las 40 son negros y los cucos son rojo. El poche es negro y rojo. Y las GC son negros y los números rojos. Alright, so I'm checking myself out. I like the way it looks. You know, it's blended. I don't see any more patches or anything like that on my face. So, our foundation is gone. So, I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place concealer because I have not gotten no concealer in Fenty yet. Because, again, I don't know if I still, I don't know if I like it. The foundation yet? I don't know yet. I'm still on the fence. I have to. I need to use. I need to have a week where I just use Fenty foundation and like kind of get mastered. But this is Juvia's Place concealer, and that's number six. Love Juvia's Place, everything, but this ain't about Juvia's Place right now. It's about Fenty, okay? So yes, we're gonna be using Juvia's Place concealer, and it's liquid. It's very, very good. I'm just applying that to my look. I'm excuse me. I'm applying it underneath my eye. I'm applying it to my chin. Applying it to my cupid's bow. My nose and forehead area okay and then we let that sit for 20 minutes 20. after 20 minutes we come back and then we blend that out so basically what letting it sit for about 20 minutes does is it kind of dries that area out it kind of mattifies it kind of whatever Jackiana said that's what it does but I've been doing that because she said it, and I actually like doing that but with Juvia's place I found that I don't need to let it sit for the full 20 minutes maybe 10 actually will do it and if I do have 20 minutes now I'll go ahead and let it sit for the 20 minutes but with Juvia's place I don't think I need to like 10 minutes and then it kind of sets itself up so that there's no creasing or anything like that yeah
So I'm just wishing my lips together and then I'm going in with the lip bar boy trouble It is a vibrant red color. I love it and we're gonna be applying that in the center I probably could have used a little bit less, but you know, whatever. It'd be all right. It dried and mattified down, so yes. And I'm going to be taking the blush by MAC Cosmetics as well in the color Pinch Me. And I'm going to be applying that to my cheek. The apples on my cheeks and blending that out. Cheek, cheek, smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. We got a smile. We got a smile. Look, there you go, girl. You got a smile, honey better smile i'm just trying to make sure my neck blended you know all the stuff and then i am using the highlighter by juvia's place and the highlighter that i'm using is the royalty one okay the royalty one by juvia's place again i love juvia's place it's very affordable but again it's not about juvia's place we on fancy right now this is fancy foundation so let me get off juvia's nuts okay it's a lot of videos where I use Juvia's Place, and we can talk all about Juvia's Place. So let me get off their nuts next, okay? Hop off Juvia's Place nuts okay, right now. We talking about Fenty. So if you have any tips and tricks about Fenty, though, uh, please let me know. I don't think I did a bad job um, at all by any means or whatever, but I feel like I could have had a more slayed foundation, okay? A more slayed one. And as you can see, I'm blending out that highlighter because it was just like a lot right in that area so i had to blend it out smile kisses and i'm done who's sexy who a spicy mommy look at me y'all yes make sure you follow me on instagram make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you get you some simply virgin hair okay because this hair is from simply virgin hair it is beautiful baby look at me Look at me, spicy mama. Look at them bottom lashes. Look at that look. Look at that highlight. Look at that nose. Look at them lips, girl. Look at that hair, baby. Shake it. Shake it. Yes. Make sure y'all let me know in the comments if you guys do this look or any renditions of it. I want to know. Again, follow me on Instagram at pretty underscore yada and makeup underscore yada. I know in some of my videos, I've probably been telling y'all makeup yada. And that's wrong. My friend had to check me. I think I made two Instagram pages by accident. So it's really makeup underscore y'all. Okay, y'all. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I love this look. I'm so cute. Look at this. Okay. Ha ha ha. Yay. And you guys have a great freaking day. More tutorials, more videos coming soon. Mwah!